Yana and James are now husband and wife. James, you may now kiss the bride. I came back from my doctor and my bloods were all okay. Um, so he did just said to start um, the Clomid on a non-period day because I'm not getting periods which isn't really the best result when we were trying for Noah on our first round we actually missed ovulation like when we went in to check how things were going he was like you've already ovulated um so it's not the best round to go in I guess it's kind of just a a write-off round um just to get everything happening um but the day he called me with my results and said I could start the Clomid I hadn't taken it yet and I actually got a period I cannot believe it um it has been like six months since I got a period so I called him straight away and was like oh my god like and he was so happy it's just like this is perfect like I cannot believe that you haven't had a period all this time and then like once we give you the script for the Clomid you get a period like he's like this is perfect timing he's like it's such a good sign he's such a lovely guy so um yeah, I'm going into this round with a little bit more positivity. I'm so excited. Um, so today is Friday the 22nd of February. Um, so I am currently on day two of my period and I will be starting the Clomid on day four, which is Sunday the 24th of Feb. And I am excited. I said to my husband, I hope you're ready because... I turn into a crazy uh, the hormone levels just do go all over the place with Clomid so um, I kind of turn into a different person um, but I'm hoping all the baby dancing <laughs> will make up for it so <laughs> um, yeah basically I will start the Clomid on Sunday I'll take that for five days and then we'll go see David five days after that for a follicle scan he will let me know um if it boosted ovulation if there is a follicle there how big it is and when he thinks it will drop and then he'll kind of give us a rough um baby dance schedule um to stick to um to get the optimum results uh in hoping for pregnancy each round of Clomid is about 18 to 20 percent chance of falling pregnant for me right now um and there's about a 10 percent chance of twins <laughs> with that <laughs> so ah! um yeah so that's where we're at we're about to start clomid i'm so excited um so i just wanted to up you update you guys i will keep updating you when i've started the clomid and everything like that for our first round and then the video will go live so um yeah thank you if you've got any questions for me please um just um comment down below i'll be sure to answer all you guys questions hi guys hope you're well just wanted to do a little check-in for my clomid round of one um so i'm actually on day four of five out of the tablets i really thought i'd be updating you guys a little bit more however i've been feeling super super good on the clomid um so i'm not sure last time i felt really really bad but i was on 2000 milligrams of metformin at the same time so maybe it was more than metformin than the clomid um day one of taking the clomid i had like hot sweats like really really bad hot flushes and i was like even though i was in aircon and everything i was so so hot um, um but besides that i've been fine i've just felt really exhausted really tired like needing to lay down and stuff a lot um but besides that my hormone levels have not been too crazy at the moment so day four and five we'll see how we go um, and then when I finish, I've got five more days until we go and see uh, Dr. David about um, the checking if the if it produced a follicle and if it looks like I'll ovulate and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling really good at the moment. So, yeah, that's my little update. Hi, guys. I'm back with a little check-in. Today is cycle day 10 for me. Um, and I have finished my five days of Clomid. Um, so I started on cycle day four um, through till nine. I finished yesterday was my last tablet. Um, I actually went through really good. This round was um, super easy and manageable. I haven't had many side effects. I've just been super, super tired. Um, but I've gone through that already. So I just wanted to let you know I've finished my Clomid and I'm on cycle day 10. And I will go and see... Um, Dr. David um, for my follicle scan on the 6th, um, which I believe is like cycle day 15. Hi guys, Tiana here. I'm checking in with you about uh, my fertility round one on Clomid. Um, 
So today is currently Monday the 11th of March. On the 6th of March I had, oh my god I can see the steam from my diffuser. On the 6th of March I had my follicle scan with my doctor. Um, <sighs> there was no follicle there this time guys. I um, was really really disappointed about it. Not gonna lie. Um, I just didn't even think that was an option. Uh, every other time we've done the Clomid on the 50 milligrams, um, there was a great size follicle and even though I knew that, you know, the chances of getting pregnant weren't there, but I knew that I had, that I was going to be ovulating. Um, so to go in and him say there was no follicle, I was really, really disappointed. I was really upset. I just... I didn't even think it was an option and like you'll see from the video at the start of the run I really thought that this was just going to be like a write off round to get my cycles going but then by chance somehow I got a period right when I wanted to start the Clomid which is the perfect timing. Um, so I got the scan done on cycle day 15 and uh, yeah there was nothing there. He said my lining was really thick which is a good sign that's what happens when it gets ready for implantation. Um, but he couldn't see a follicle. The left side of my, my left ovary is really, really hard to get to. He had a lot of trouble seeing the whole ovary, but he still thought there wasn't enough signs of a follicle or ovulation. Um, so this round is kind of already over. Uh, it's taken me a couple of days to give you guys an update because I've just... I'm not being happy about it. I knew it was never going to happen on the first go, but just everything was lining up and like, I'm really big on like, not signs, but like, just things happening at the right time and everything seemed to be going in the right direction when I got my cycle and then just, I just got hit by a train when he said that. I really was not expecting it. Um, I haven't really got upset and cried or like cried or anything. I'm just being really like, down not wanting to go out and see people I've and I've actually been really sick this week um I don't know why whether it's a late response to the Clomid or um the doctor did say that there might be a really really slight chance that I might ovulate um he's gonna give me a pro sorry he's going to give me a progesterone blood test um on the 18th which will be my cycle day I'm pretty sure it's like 27 cycle day 27 i have really long cycles if i ever have them but they're never 28 days anymore 32 34 um so he's going to do the progesterone bloods on the monday the 18th i'm to call him the next day and just double check that we didn't ovulate um he still wanted us to baby dance in this time frame just in case that we wouldn't waste the round but he was reassuring me that we we'll probably definitely not ovulate this month um, I'm a bit nervous that I have to go up to 100 milligrams. I've never done 100 milligrams. The first time I was on Clomid, I, like with Noah, I was really, really sick. I didn't love the Clomid, um, but on that time I was also on 2000 milligrams of metformin, which I'm not on now. So the doctor said that could be another reason why it didn't work this round was that I'm not also on the metformin. It could also just be that my fertility has degrees. Degree decreased my fertility has decreased um it's been five years since i've been pregnant and um, i'm over 30 now and um yeah those odds aren't great so um yeah i guess we'll just have to see um he basically wasn't expecting me to get any period um he just said that it was just chance that i got one and he wasn't expecting me to get one because there was no follicle um, so he said I could take the Clomid straight like whenever I want, but he wants to wait till the bloods come back just to be sure. Um, even though he's pretty sure they're going to be negative. Um, so I'll get those results back and I'll update you guys. Um, and then basically the next step will be round two of Clomid. Uh, he doesn't want me to go on metformin at this stage. He's going to see what round two does. Um, but I'm going to go up to hundred milligrams of Clomid. So it's double the dose. I hope the side effects aren't too bad. Um, yeah, and I think your, your mind just goes into overdrive, like when they said, 
it wouldn't work my mum was like okay so I've got 100 milligrams if that doesn't work I've got 150 and then if that doesn't work that's it I'm of Clomid I can't that's not an option then we have to move on to a lot more invasive um, fertility options um, and your mind just like goes ahead and ahead and ahead just like um, not thinking of the now so I've been using my essential oils trying to calm me down and like just stay focused on uh, where we are right now um, but it's more that I just I didn't even expect it I should have gone in with a more open mind that it couldn't work I just every time I've taken that dose you know the three rounds with Noah it just was like boom yep you've got a follicle great size you're gonna ovulate yes I didn't get pregnant off every one of those rounds but like my body was responding to the medication so the fact it's not just makes you feel really crap makes you feel like it's your fault and it's not happening and Noah kind of understand, like he understands, he, he wants a baby and um, he keeps talking about when are we getting our baby and I mean why is it taking so long for our baby and you know it's cute but kind of makes me feel bad <laughs> that you know I put off starting for so long because I didn't want to feel like this and I just feel like maybe I've ruined it and I'm still feeling like this so anyway that's about it for this update otherwise this video is going to be super super long but um yeah that's all i have to tell you i will update you when i get my bloods but this is basically the end for round one and i will still continue to um do these videos um for round two and so on and so forth so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it and i'll see you when i next update you